Hey, Wyatt, uh, as a defensive guy, what's well, just the most frustrating part that comes in with being involved in a game like that? Yeah, well, uh, you know, one of the most frustrating parts is, you know, they had, you know, they had key offensive linemen uh, <clears throat> that weren't in the game, you know, and the defense line, you know, was excited to take advantage of the opportunity with how, you know, disruptive we've been playing. Uh, but, you know, they definitely schemed our defense line super well, kept us out of the kept us out of the game for sure, uh, especially with all the quick throws, quick passes, all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, they came out hot. Uh, we just couldn't get off the field and they just made a lot of big plays. And, uh, uh, you know, those big plays is what's game changing and what brings all the momentum to one team. And, uh, you know, we, we were just struggling for sure. How hard has it been uh, for the whole team going through the last couple of weeks? You know, not only not winning, but having to deal with all this COVID stuff. How, how hard has that been? It's been really hard. And, uh, you know, COVID obviously has, you know, attacked our program, you know, a lot compared to many other programs. But, uh, you know, Coach Kleiman just always says, next guy needs to be ready to step up. And, uh, you know, we, we do have a lot of inexperience, you know, younger guys back there. Um, okay. So that you know, without a whole lot of experience. So that kind of hurts us sometimes, but uh, you know, they're learning, they're, they're developing and um, you know, no matter what the circumstances are, you know, we're just going to go out there and, you know, try to do our best and uh, try to try to get off the field. Hey, I also want to ask, what, what's your thoughts on maybe playing in a bowl? If you guys get invited to one, is that something you think the guys would be excited about? Well, you know, we're super blessed and fortunate because, you know, a lot of teams, um, you know, a lot of the teams this year, you know, in all conferences don't even know if they're going to play on Saturdays. And we've played 10 games and, you know, that's just something that us players, you know, you know, looking back and, you know, last March and April, we didn't even know if we we're going to play a season. So super blessed and fortunate that we were able to play 10 games. And, uh, you know, if we have the, you know, opportunity to play an 11th game, you know, we're, it doesn't matter who it's against, you know, what our record is, you know, in the Big 12 conference, uh, you know, one more game, you know, I think we'd all be excited for that. Thanks, Wyatt. Appreciate it. Fitz. Hey, Wyatt. Um, as a defender, can you put into words what it what it's like to have an offense that's scoring so easily on you throughout a game like that? Yeah. Well, um, you know, and you know whether you're on offense or defense, you know, if ten guys are doing the job and one guy isn't, you know, it's easy to put up points. And uh, like I said, you know, um, we had a lot of young guys unexperienced. We had, you know, Eli out with his, his injury, uh, J Mac out with his injury, you know, two key star players that we have in our defense. Um, so that definitely hurt us. And, you know, credit to Texas, you know, they're just rolling and, uh, you know, they're feeling themselves and um, on the offensive side of the ball. So they just kept rolling. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of, you know, stupid mistakes, you know, tackling, obviously finishing, running to the ball. Uh, small, small things that the players can control, um, not things that, you know, anyone can put on the coaches whatsoever. You know, those are things that the players need to take care of and, uh, you know, just giving good effort, you know, between those white lines. And uh, if you had input, and I'm sure you would if, you, if you're coming back, what, what things does this defense need to improve upon for next season? Uh, well, um, you know, up front, you know, our front four, super disruptive um, this yeah. season. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't say, you know, I, I, obviously there's always room for improvement. You know, I'm not saying we're satisfied whatsoever, but that, obviously the front four is our strongest suit on yeah. defense. Uh, you know, I don't know if Justin or Elijah are coming back. I don't know what they've done or what decisions they've made. Um, same with Cody Fletcher with all the seniors. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, just – you know, we didn't have spring ball. Uh, we weren't practicing this summer. And uh, we have a lot of young guys. So, you know, getting those young guys <clears throat> reps is the main thing to, you know, uh, being successful on Saturdays on defense. So uh, we faced a lot of adversity this season. And, um, you know, as much as adversity as we faced, you know, we just, we just need to <clears throat> continue to go out there and attack every single day. How tough has this adversity been? It's been very tough, you know. Um, you know, with COVID, you know, not using that as an excuse because, you know, every team has dealt with COVID just like how we have, uh, but, you know, here at Kansas State, you know, we may not have the depth like, like other teams do. And, uh, so, you know, if you're a starter, you know, you're going to have to make plays on, you know, offense, defense, and special teams. You're going to have to contribute in more ways just on offense and defense. 
uh, just because of our death problems. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's been tough, but, uh, you know, we never folded to, you know, any type of adversity. We just went out there with our heads high and just continue to work hard. Thanks, Wyatt. Got three hands raised. We'll do those last here, starting with John. Yeah, Wyatt, I know obviously finding out whether or not you're playing in a bowl game can affect this, but do you have an idea for, for a timeline on when you'll make a decision as to whether or not you'll come back or, or go to the draft? Yeah, I plan on making that decision, you know, within the next two or three weeks. Um, I kind of just left that out of the conversation, you know, during the season, um, you know, just because I just want to be focused here. You know, if I'm here in Kansas State, I want to give all my effort and energy and focus into Kansas State. So, uh, you know, two to three weeks, you know, I'll probably make the decision for sure. Appreciate it, White. Michael. Why it was the Baylor game and a uh, letdown such that it, that it could have affected preparation for this week? Uh, I don't think so, for sure. Uh, you know, once Monday or Tuesday comes around, you know, we're completely forget. You know, Monday we're, you know, we're watching film, we're breaking down the film, learning from our past mistakes. But, you know, once Tuesday comes around, you know, uh, we don't care what happened that last previous Saturday. Obviously, we need to keep in mind the things that we, you know, didn't do well on to try to improve those things in practice, you know, Monday through Thursday. Uh, but, you know, like I said, once Tuesday comes around, you know, we're focused on our next opponent and uh, uh, just, you know, take it week by week. Did you and defensive coaches anticipate uh, Texas employing some of the same tactics that Baylor did? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we weren't, you know, surprised at all when they were running, you know, screens, uh, draws. Uh, we, you know, we, he didn't run as as, mo as much quarterback draws as we anticipated, but, you know, definitely the screens, draws, slants, uh, just the short passes, short routes. Um, you know, we know that Baylor definitely saw our film, you know, having seven sacks in the first half against Baylor last week. Uh, they knew, you know, I even talked to their offensive coordinator right after the game on the field. You know, he said, you know, they game, game plan our defense line. That was the first thing that they wanted to do to try to take us out of the game. Um, so that was obviously frustrating for us for sure because, you know, um, you know, we couldn't get to the quarterback in one, one, one and a half seconds. So uh, that was frustrating. But, you know, we just had to go out there and play hard. So thanks, Ryan. Thank you. Last one here from Ryan. Hey, uh, why, how, how good was uh, their running back, Bajon Robinson, today? I just now noticed by looking at final stats, he averaged, if you can believe, 19 yards a carry on, on nine carries. Yeah, very talented back, you know. Uh, you know, he just has a lot of intangibles, you know, the size and speed and quickness. And when all those things combine together, uh, just makes a great football player. And, you know, there's a few plays I'll just seeing him run, you know, how quick he was, how big he was, super powerful. And, you know, credit to him. He's a great player for sure. And what would you say just after, you know, a loss like this, especially as we've talked about being a defensive guy and giving up this many points, but what would you say is your, your biggest emotion? Are you frustrated? Are you angry? Is it something completely different than that? Yeah, definitely frustrated, um, you know, just because, you know, this is our defense, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with the defense leaders on the defense side of the ball, you know, we take pride in, uh, you know, helping the younger guys develop and helping all those backup guys that, you know, got a lot more, got a lot more playing time than they anticipated this year. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if you, you have to be realistic about it, you know, obviously you can't lower the standard just because a guy is a backup or a younger person. Uh, you can't lower the standard whatsoever. You have to keep the standard high for them, uh, but they are learning, they are developing. And uh, like I said, with you know, with COVID, we face a lot of adversity with starters, even with transferring, uh, transferring, and with all the guys who've transferred the transfer portal, that put us in a kind of a tough spot as well. Uh, but it's frustrating, but at the same time, you know, you have to put it in realization. You know, these guys are young and they're developing.